Hello, my name is Keely Rushmore and I'm an employment law partner at Keystone Law. As we all know, 19th of July was commonly referred to as Freedom Day and many of the restrictions in relation to COVID-19 were removed by the government. And in particular, one change was that the government no longer was instructing employees to work from home if they can. This will be very welcome news for many employers who are looking forward to welcoming their employees back into the workplace um, in the hope that they will be more collaborative and more productive. But at the same time, this can create a number of problems. COVID-19 is a workplace hazard, and as a result, employers are under a legal duty to ensure the health, safety and welfare of all of its employees. And in order to deal with that, one crucial thing that you need to do is to put in place a risk assessment. Ideally, this should be in writing. Uh, for employers with less than five employees, so micro businesses, there isn't a requirement to have in writing, but it is still recommended. Um, as part and parcel of the risk assessment, uh, you need to identify what activities or situations in the workplace might arise that could cause the transmission of COVID-19. So thinking about the daily routine uh, and what contact employees and visitors have with each other, for example. You also need to identify who is at risk. So this extends beyond just employees. It covers workers, contractors, visitors, customers, um, and assess what the level of that risk is of the transmission of COVID-19. And finally, you need to identify the measures that you're going to need to put into place in order to control those risks. So they can be very uh, wide ranging. So things like, for example, staggering the start times and finish times of your workforce, to other things such as ensuring that there's adequate ventilation, there's screening when necessary, um, personal protection equipment, enhanced cleaning, all those kind of things will help you control those risks. The next stage is just to bear in mind that doing a written risk assessment isn't the end of the story and it's not the only thing that you need to do. It's important that you consult with your workforce or representative from your, of your workforce on health and safety matters and from that perspective you can show them the risk assessment and get their input into it. Another thing that you should do is consider putting the risk assessment in a place where it's publicly available, such as your internet site. And in fact, the government has said that it expects all employers with 50 or more employees to be publishing this risk assessment on its website. The last thing that you need to make sure you do is review the risk assessment on a uh, continual basis. As we all know from experience over the last 18 months or so, COVID is something that has been evolving and businesses need to be ready to react to it. So doing a risk assessment is all very well and good, but if you then lock it in a drawer and don't do anything with it, then you're opening yourself up to potential risk in terms of legal action, investigations in the health and safety executive, um, and perhaps even more concerning, a, a workforce that doesn't feel comfortable returning to the workplace. But if you take all of those steps and you are open with your employees and you do everything in a detailed, well thought out manner, you're setting yourself in good stead to not only comply with your duties in respect of health and safety, um, but you also protect yourself from legal action from employees, such as claims from um, constructive and fair dismissal at one end of the scale, to at the other end of the scale, just a workforce that feels disengaged uh, and unhappy with the way that things have been handled. So if you do that, hopefully you will have a workforce that is prepared and able to return to the workforce, um, feeling safe and secure when they do so. I hope that you found that helpful. And obviously, if you have any questions, please do feel free to get in touch. Also, please do look out for other videos from my Keystone colleagues on legal matters that uh, are important. Thank you very much.